Hi, I'm Daniel Watrous, and I wanted to put together a quick tutorial about the secure aspect of processing credit cards online. Anytime you're going to accept credit cards, like you would with my Authorize.net for WordPress plugin, you want to make sure that people are submitting their credit card details over a secure connection. Secure has has a couple of ways. You, know, you may you may think about it one of two ways. SSL stands for Secure Sockets Layer, and that's the actual technology that's used. But what you look for in the browser is an HTTPS, and what that means is Secure HTTP, and that's the protocol that the internet uses to send you web pages. So how do you get SSL on your domain? The first thing you need, aside from hosting, so obviously you need a website, a domain name, and you need a hosting company like HostGator. You need, in addition to that, a dedicated IP address. Now the IP address looks like this, so it's got four numbers separated by periods. Every website on the internet actually resolves to an IP address. Since there aren't very many IP addresses, sometimes they're shared, and that's the case with most hosting companies. The first thing you need for SSL to work is a dedicated IP address, and most hosting companies will charge you a little extra per month for that. For example, on HostGator, I pay $2 per month for a dedicated IP address. Now, the next thing you need to understand is that there are private and public keys. Now, you don't need to understand too much of this, but when you, you know, look at them, they just look like gobbledygook. And what you're going to do is you're going to have uh, your hosting company generate some keys like this, and then your SSL provider will generate other keys. And you'll have to kind of collaborate between the two of them to put these pieces together to get the right information to the company that will give you your secure certificate, and then get other information back to your hosting company. And, and those are the private and public keys that, uh, that I talk about. Now, the steps you follow, and it, it really is pretty simple, even though some of it can seem complicated. You buy your SSL certificate, and I'm going to show you where in a minute. You ask your hosting company for a dedicated IP address. And then you ask your hosting company for what's called a CSR, a Certificate Signing Request. So after you've done those two things, you send the CSR, that Certificate Signing Request, to whichever company you've purchased your SSL certificate from. And what they're going to do is return a certificate key that you then give to your hosting company. Okay, so now how do I suggest you, you do this? Well, my... My preference is, and this is in terms of how easy it is, I suggest you start with HostGator, a HostGator business account. I'll show you why in a minute. Now, I often will Google for good rates. If you just type in SSL certificate, there are lots of different companies that are advertising for those top spots and uh, also a lot of good organic listings. Some that are historically well-priced and, and a really good value are Rapid SSL. Positive SSL and GoDaddy. Sometimes GoDaddy has a deal, um, you know, that's a lot better than these others. But, but even so, I'm going to show you how good these deals are. Okay, so first off, if you go to HostGator and you look at their hosting plans, you'll notice right off the bat that their business plan has free private SSL and IP address. What that means is for the monthly that you pay, and you know, they say starting at 10:36 if you buy a bunch of years in advance, right? But, you know, 12 to $14, depending on their, their current offer, 12 to $14 a month, and you don't have to deal with any of this junk that I was dealing with here, right? So all of these things that I was telling you, um, to get a dedicated IP address and manage your private and public keys and follow all these steps, well, that's all just taken care of for you on a HostGator uh, plan. Now, if you do decide to go through those steps that I was pointing out and get the certificate on your own, a great option, like right now, I just looked at the PositiveSSL.com website, and notice they've got it for $9.95 a year. Uh, so, so you can go over and buy that right now. That's $10 a year, so that's you know about the amount that you'd pay to register your domain name, and you have a secure site. Now, there are other little sites that resell Rapid SSL or GeoTrust or these different things. ClickSSL.com is one of them. And you can see right now 
that they've got their rapid SSL certificate for $12 a year. Now, one thing that you might ask, you know, so let's look at this um, Komodo offering. Komodo's the group that sells the positive SSL certificate. Now, what you'll notice is that they have a, a series, they, they have kind of a collection of different offerings here. You can actually get a free SSL certificate for 30 days. Then you can get this positive SSL certificate for 10 bucks a year. And their next step up goes up to 70 bucks a year, seven times more expensive than positive SSL. You know, and then they've got even, you know, as high as this $180 a year for the enterprise SSL. So what is the difference between these? And then even at a company like VeriSign, for example, which is now uh, run by Symantec. You know, if you look at their SSL certificates, you'll see right off the bat that they're quite a bit more expensive. For example, if I click buy on just a secure site, so this is, you know, without the EV, without the Pro, just the secure site from VeriSign costs seven hundred dollars so that's that's a that's a big difference and the question that I get a lot is why is it so much more expensive and what you're buying is trust so in other words when you come to my site and you click through let, let me just show you so I come down here and I click into buy now and you'll notice that this goes to green so the browser validates yeah this is secure and I click on this and it says hey your connections encrypted and the identity of this website has been verified by RapidSSL. And I can put their little seal over here that says secured by RapidSSL. Well, if I had paid $700, I could put this little VeriSign trusted seal on my site, which would bring more trust. Another thing that could happen, and let me just show you, some sites that pay extra for their validation, notice how the HTTPS is preceded on PayPal by this little PayPal green area. And when I click on that, it says the identity of PayPal Inc. at San Jose, California has been verified by VeriSign. So the level of verification that you buy, it becomes more expensive. So in this case, PayPal can display this little thing saying they have verified the company itself. Whereas on mine, what it's saying is it verified the domain or the identity of the website. So if you are in a business where trust is crucial, where you know maybe your your purchase price on average is a thousand dollars or or more, then it might pay off to buy the seven hundred dollar Verisign seal. Now, if you're selling an inexpensive membership or taking donations, then there's a really good chance that just a, a typical SSL, like you know, mine for example, is the Rapid SSL, is going to be all you'd need. So again, the, you need a dedicated IP address. You're going to have to manage the private and public keys, and you'll follow these steps to get an SSL certificate. And um, you know, you can Google for good rates, but I mean, even positive SSL for $9.95 a year. That's that's hard to beat. Um, and I would still say if if any of this makes you weary, like you're worried about how you would follow through and get all of these pieces lined up right, then just go over to HostGator and sign up for their business class plan and they'll take care of the rest for you. They'll just set it up and you'll have a private SSL with your dedicated IP address and it's all included in the business plan. So that's it. I hope it was useful. I hope you sell loads and loads of stuff and uh, post a comment down below this video if you have any questions about it. Thanks. Bye.